I feel, feel like I'm a facts based pariah. We're radicals in the Republican Party. If you say that <laughs> Stop the Steal was ridiculous. Right. Yeah. I, you know, Trump is the new establishment. That's what a former Republican member of the House sounds like. Case in point, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, Congressman Paul Gosar are planning to form their own America First Caucus. According to a seven page policy platform published by Punchbowl News this afternoon, the caucus intends to, quote, follow in President Trump's footsteps. It includes an election fraud section that peddles conspiracies about our 2020 election. It also includes the following, quote, America is a nation with a border and a culture strengthened by a common respect for uniquely Anglo-Saxon political traditions. Wonder what that could mean. I'm sure our next guest is wondering as well. With us to talk about it, Bill Crystal, the author and writer and thinker and politico, a veteran of the Reagan and Bush administrations, editor at large of the Bulwark. Uh, Bill, a couple of things. Number one, wait till they find out about the border with Canada. Uh, number two, I have in my hand three items on social media that attracted our interest today and tonight. Here they are in order. Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger, I believe anyone that joins this caucus should have their committee stripped, too late for Marjorie Taylor Greene, already done, and the Republican conference should expel them from conference participation. While we can't prevent someone from calling themselves Republican, we can loudly say they don't belong to us. Kevin McCarthy tweets, the Republican Party, hope you're sitting down, is the party of Lincoln and the party of more opportunity for all Americans, not nativist dog whistles. And finally, gentleman named Bill Crystal. Kevin McCarthy is the piano player in the House Republican brothel. Uh, good choice of words there, Bill. At, 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 a, at a gross base level, is this the way to bring in new customers if you're the Republican Party? Well, if you think that nativism is a winning, is a, is a formula for success, I suppose it might be. And look, we shouldn't minimize the appeal of nativism, I suppose, after Donald Trump. Donald Trump won in 2016 after attacking a, an American judge for being a Mexican judge. He, this is a judge presiding, I think, in a civil trial that the Trump organization was involved in. Uh, he's an American judge. He, he's actually born here and had, I guess, parents of Mexican origin. And, and Trump attacked him as being a Mexican judge as part of his general attack on Mexicans. Uh, he, of course, called for a Muslim ban and so forth. He won the presidency. He governed for four years along those lines. Republicans supported him, including Kevin McCarthy. He almost won again, and Republicans are only a few votes, a few seats short in the House. So they may think that nativism works. Uh, they may not. I mean, I, they may be more right than, than I would like, than you would like, Ryan, I think. Um, now, I think Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar, it's easy for, it was an easy one for Kevin McCarthy to seem responsible. Oh, a nativist dog whistle. We can't have that. Of course, Donald Trump did more than dog whistles. He was more like a nativist broadcasting, you might say. And and Kevin McCarthy's had no problem with, with Donald Trump's nativism. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of a layup where these two are concerned. Gosart's own family members have argued he ought to be out of Congress. Marjorie Taylor Greene has already been stripped of her committee assignments, which traditionally is not the way to bring bacon home to your district, but we do note she has raised, what, 3.2 million so far this year. How is anyone going to primary her and raise that kind of money? Uh, and what's the lesson of that? What sells? Well, there's clearly support for that. Now, other the people who voted to impeach Trump had good fundraising quarters, too, many of them in the House. So I think we will have a bunch of primaries in 2022 uh, where we'll have a bit of a test of how far the Republican primary electorate in different states, different congressional districts is willing to go. There'll be open seats, obviously, open Senate seats will be very interesting in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and North Carolina with Republican candidates of different stripes ranging from Trumpist all the way to, you know, more than Trump, to Trump, to mild versions of Trump, uh, to, to actually not Trump and never Trump, or at least let's get beyond Trump. So anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see this proposition. But yeah, this is the problem is that they are not the, the establishment types. Let's call it Kevin McCarthy, the, the, the person who's playing the piano and pretending he doesn't know what's going on, or is just trying to keep everyone happy, you know? They do. They they sometimes see that they have to distance themselves a little bit from the really crazy stuff. But that's about it. They want to keep them in the tent. They want the establishment donors in the tent. Uh, and they're willing to tolerate an awful lot, an awful lot of nativism and bigotry 
And no, nothing is ever. I mean, if you had said this six, seven years ago, that one of our two major parties would just routinely be tolerating the kinds of things that are happening, the kinds of bigotry, which ranges from ethnic and racial to bigotry against, I don't know, young trans women. I mean, it's really astonishing some of the things that are being proposed in state legislatures. And we won't even talk about voting rights, I suppose. So it is, you know, I don't believe, yes, the, the Republican establishment doesn't like some of the less seemly parts of this but they are willing to live with it as part of a formula, they think, for, for victory. Uh, Bill, Ron DeSantis seems to be the new darling of the Trump wing of the party, I guess, based on his deft handling of COVID. Asted Wesley writes this in The New York Times. Going to be amazing when DeSantis mania irks Trump's insecurity and he dooms him before 2024 just because he can. I guess you're going to um, enjoy the view of that. You know, I think I think Trump is going to run. I now think in twenty twenty four. I mean, it's, the whole it's, he's not going to just have fun for a year or two and then step aside. He thinks he almost he won once. He almost won a second time. The Trump Liz Cheney Republican primary in twenty twenty four is going to be something else. Don't you think, Brian? Oh, that'll be worth that'll be worth staying <laughs> up till eleven o'clock at night for. Wow. We just got everybody's attention coast to coast, at least those uh, smart enough to join us on a Friday night. Bill, thank you. As always, uh, thanks for taking our questions. Great having you, Bill Crystal, our guest tonight. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.